packing up to move on from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Great little sight here. It feels like fall this morning. But we'll take it better than being extra warm. Back in Grand Rapids, Michigan, it is in the 90s. So we are ready to move on. Find ourselves a sight on a lake. Are you ready, Emmy? Wow, that was a yes. That was so cute. We have to see that again. Wow, that was a yes. Hello, you two. Guess what? What? Today is Daisy's fifth birthday. Oh. I love you. Daisy's Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Daisy. You're going to get extra loves today. Yes, you are. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. Happy birthday. Nobody loves travel days except you and I. <laughs> Kitties don't love them. But well, it's short travel days. But they do good. Okay. Daisy's in. One down. Let me get the other one. Emmy. And there's Emmy. Two. She's ready to start crying. Mama called you a number two, Emmy. <laughs> One twenty three. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was just getting to that spot. Did you remember it? I didn't remember it. That's why <laughs> I have you. <laughs> precious thing you've ever seen. Oh, my two babies. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect way to do an afternoon nap. Air hammocks and a screen tent. <sighs> now that's nice. We learned that the Chippewa National Forest supports one of the highest breeding densities of bald eagles in the continental United States, with around 400 nests here. So after dinner, we decided to go look for bald eagles, and guess what we saw? I was up the road, last second, pulled up the camera. It's the only picture I got of him. And he was big. We've been going back and forth and we can't find him. But we just got out, so this is good news for animal adventure tonight. Now we're on Bear and Bald Eagle. Which way? I don't know. Which way do you think? The stand right. Like, so now we're looking for back roads. Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Happy birthday to We got you. your sister. Happy birthday, buddies. Happy birthday, Daisy. Mom loves you. Daddy you're, loves you, too. You're a good girl. And she's having a little birthday fun with her laser light show. <laughs> Get it. Get it. It's her favorite blanket. The next evening, we explored around on the north side of Cass Lake, where we saw white pelicans. 
While white pelicans winter in the Gulf of Mexico region, more than 20% of the continent's population take up summer residence in Minnesota. We also saw my favorite, a pair of loons. Loons are actually Minnesota's state bird. Another beautiful end to a beautiful day. Look who's joining me for a walk this morning. <laughs> We're gonna go down by the lake here and see what it looks like today. Beautiful, beautiful morning. What do you think, Emmy? First lake up close. Ah. Yeah. Great little beach here. Water's decent. If you're in northern Minnesota, you will notice a lot of these big dragonflies called the dragon hunters. They can eat around 100 mosquitoes a day. They definitely won't run out of food around here. Later, after a beautiful bike ride, it was warm enough to cool down in the fresh water of the lake. This is what she does. She'll hop and walk around for 30 minutes and then eventually get in. That's all she always enters the water. She's marching to battle. So this could go on for hours, so we'll report back in a half hour. And she's still walking. Still walking. What do you think? It feels great. Are you going to go swimming? Oh, the wind blows. Are you going to go swimming? I'm trying to. Are you? You're trying to swim? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? It takes, you know me. It's a process. <laughs> it's, a process. it's a process. She'll always tell me to get in. And then I'm done swimming by the time she gets in a half hour later. Yes, I eventually did make it in the water and got a nice time drying off in the sun. We also spotted a bald eagle flying by. They're just such majestic birds. After heading back from the beach and grabbing a bite to eat, we explored some more forest roads, saw some more wildlife, and finished the day relaxing by the fire. During our time here, we spent several days biking on the Magizi Trail, a word that means eagle in Ojibwe. Once again, we got back just in time for our bike ride. A big storm was blowing in. We just couldn't get enough of riding the McGizzy Trail. It's so beautiful. So we headed back out again. Overall, we ended up seeing three bald eagles here, including this one up in the tree. He can find anything. We're going past on the road. He is, he's very good at finding animals.
we also came across several of these little creatures. Really popular in Minnesota, the ruffed grouse. A few seconds after this, we saw a couple of her chicks come out of the grass. We really enjoy camping here in the Chippewa National Forest. And the Gizzy Trail was amazing. We saw bear, eagles, and being steps away from this beautiful lake. We look forward to more camping in this awesome state in Minnesota. You're freaking her out. Happy birthday. Daisy. Dear Daisy. Lance. Sorry. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Happy birthday. <gasps> meow, meow. Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Stop it. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Dear Daisy. <laughs> Man, stop! Sitting here with our local crustacean, watching the sun go down. Although I think his last sunset was a couple days ago by the smell of him. Clay the crayfish had a proper burial. This is me experiencing the eye, bone, ear buds for the first time. Pros. Amazing. <laughs> it blocks out all the extra noise, ambient noise. Oh, what the heck have I been missing? I won these. Six months ago, and gave him the Lance because I don't use these. I don't use any earbuds. Problem now is he's lost I the know. earbuds. It's like now I'm gonna have to get another pair. So, uh, we would never pay $250 for a pair of now earbuds. Um, now the key is if I wear these at night, will I not hear Lance snore? Then they'll be good. <laughs> 